can go. Well, 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 well. Welcome back. It's been a while, guys, but we're back. Robrick's back. Sorry that we haven't been here for a while. Um, when we got back from WrestleMania, we both had the flu from those fuckers at WrestleMania. Um, a particular wrestler. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, in general, I believe it was EC3. Yeah. Um, but we're back. Um, also, Juan has graduated. That took a little bit. Thank I was you. In, I was in Hawaii. So everybody, please comment, congratulate him. Well, thank you, thank you. We want to shout out a lot of people that actually ask where were we? Yes. And uh, if we, there were going to be more episodes, but we're back. We want to apologize, like Ryan said. We had some other commitments that we needed to take care of, and all of those ideas are done. Yes. All of those commitments are over with, so we're back, and for good. So hopefully we'll be able to keep the momentum going this time, keep rolling, keep making videos. That's right. We will keep doing that. Again, shout out to all the people that said... Where's more episodes of Robrick? So we want to thank you for that. I know Terry. I know John. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This yeah. is for you guys. So we have uh, predictions for Money in the Bank yes. 2019. That's we're going to start. That's our way back. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going on in WWE in, during this pay-per-view. So we're going to start out, Ryan, with uh, the pre-show, right? Yes. We're going to start out with the pre-show. For anybody who's thinking of watching Money in the Bank, um... You can go ahead and do it. Um, I'm not going to tell you or advise you to watch it because it might give you like a seizure or something. Um, yes, yeah, so I recommend, actually, let me put the phone down here. This is what I recommend you watch, okay? Double or nothing. It's coming up next weekend, okay? That is AEW, okay? They're performing big things right now. You can watch it on YouTube, Road to Double or Nothing. Follow all elite, okay? And no, we don't work for them. No. We don't of work course for them. not. I wish I did. Okay. We I, don't work, we're not promoting for the sake of promoting. But, you know, if you're a wrestling fan and a real wrestling fan, you're going to enjoy their product a lot more than what this piece of shit product is right now. Um, it's just plain fact. I, I have people, you know, writing to us. I, I love you guys. You, you know, it's cool. I feel bad, you know, it, it's not your fault. You're used to the garbage that WWE puts out. And, you know, you're just used to this. You think this is this is wrestling. It's not. It's garbage. Yep, we we think that is uh, it's going to be a good competition for WWE. I can't wait for we it. We feel the product that WWE is putting right now could be so much better, so much enticing for the audience. And for that reason, um, we think AEW is going to be better. It's going to be a way for WWE to be better. It's going to be a way for them to realize that like their ways are like old-fashioned, that McMahon needs to change. And nowadays, there's been a lot of um, news about Triple H being really frustrated very, with Vince. Very frustrated with Vince, the way Vince will not back down on certain things, will not change his ways. Um, you know, Paul Levesque is very up-to-date and knows how to do certain things and learns to adapt. You know, he is the Vince McMahon of the, the late 90s. You know, the way Vince was, and Vince had to adapt in the late 90s. That's how the Attitude Era took place. Um, and for those of you who don't, you know, maybe they, you're blaming, like, the creative team. Don't blame them. It's not their fault. It's one man's fault. It's Vince McMahon's fault for the product being the way it is today. Everything goes through him, and that's why it's so shitty. I hope you guys can see all the posters up here. I have a Double or Nothing poster. I have a Kenny Omega poster. You know, all that stuff. I love it. And you guys need to go check it out because... It's coming up. Yes. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. Yes. Because... The best time for wrestling, it was when WCW went toe to toe to WWE, WWF then, and your know, competition always makes both parties better. Amen. So we hope that with every AEW being around, WWE will will get better. I hope they step up their game. At least you know the product is much makes much more sense. People, uh, the storylines are more creative, more compelling. Let's hope. 
So in that way, the only winners are us, the fans. I'm hoping. I'm hoping WWE will step away from what they're doing right now, go away from the entertainment aspect of it and start to create an actual wrestling product and sports atmosphere instead of whatever the hell they're doing right now because it's not working. This is not raw, raw ratings have been down for years. Smackdown ratings have been down and for years. And now they're reaching historic oh, <laughs> levels yes. of being low. Yes. Because no, nobody's really interested. Only the diehard fans are like watching and they're not even watching. Yes. Sometimes we don't even watch. We will do a whole video about our WrestleMania experience though. Because yes. we did have a great time. We had a lot of great moments. But that will be coming up in the coming weeks but for now we're gonna start with like the pre-show with uh, Tony Nese defending the Cruiserweight Championship against Arya Daivari and this one will be quick um, you know I don't see Tony Nese losing the title already if they do I mean I think that's kind of a shitty way to treat the Cruiserweight Championship um, so Nese to me gonna win um, it should be a good match I feel bad for these guys that they're still on the pre-show um, that again is something to me that needs to go. Pre-show shouldn't be a thing. Everybody should be on the main card. Um, if it is a pay-per-view, every match needs to be a pay-per-view match. Right, needs to be on the main card. Main card. Shorten these pay-per-views. They don't need to be 12 hours long. You know, just you know, have everybody on the on the on the card. Let everybody have a payday, and it should be. You know a lot better for these guys because yeah. these guys can tear the house down it is the truth i feel that tony knees is really strong right now we saw the match with murphy when he won the championship beautiful great match we actually had the chance to talk to him and i remember saying him are you going to be the champion on sunday he just looked at me look at the both of us he said oh maybe so we were kind of happy that that happened because he he was a really nice guy also yes he was very nice to both of us and he's he's good he is, his wrestling ability is solid. I feel that uh, maybe microphone is not as great. I wouldn't say as good as Buddy Murphy. Yeah. That's why Murphy was moved to the main roster. Yes. But where the hell is But where, where, where's Murphy been? Yeah. So, but as a champion, as the, the guy that is holding the cruiserweight division for now is fine. Because yes. other than that, I think the, on, the only upcoming one, the upcoming is Umberto Carrillo. Mm -hmm. But for now, I feel Tony Nese needs to be in charge of the division. So our our guest here, he's he's gonna retain. Daivari is just he's a good wrestler, but in, again, Daivari enhancement, enhancement like guy. I agree. And then we're gonna go to the main show. No, no, here actually. Oh, it's I, more. It's still still kickoff show. Which sweet Jesus. Yes. Sweet Jesus. And I feel so bad right now for Brian, Daniel Bryan, and Eric Rowan. Or now just Rowan, because everybody has only one name. But we will mention the real names. I will. Full names. I will. Eric Rowan. Uh, and they're taking on the Usos for, for the, SmackDown the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Um, here, again, very short and sweet. Um, I don't think, you know, Brian and Eric Rowan are going to lose the tag team titles already. Um, if you want to put the titles on the Usos for the 48th time, that's fine. Um, but it's getting very stale. You know, and I don't want to see it happen. Um, you know, I don't think fans want to see it happen. That's another reason why, you know, fans are going to this product. Fans want to see this product. You know, long title reigns are something that are prestigious. Okay, you saw it back in the 70s. Bob Backlund held the title five years in a row. Okay, Sam Martino, seven years in a row. Demolition. Okay, Demolition in, in had, had a long... That was refreshing when New Day broke the tag team championship record for the longest title reign and broke Demolition's title reign. I like that, okay? Many, maybe you guys don't because you guys have been raised in a different era where somebody only holds a title for a week. You know, two seconds. You know, that bothers me. Or hot potato. Okay? You guys need to go back and check out some of the older stuff and classic stuff. You know, it's very irritating to see, you know, people think championship reigns are more important then, you know, like how many how many times you hold a title is more important than how long you hold it. No, it's how long you hold the title that's more important. It is the truth, and it helps both the reign and the champion and yes. the title. It, it helps everything. The titles in WWE. More meaningful. Yes, the WWE titles themselves look like shit right now. All of them. None of them look prestigious at all because 
all of them are held for like three seconds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm sorry, but none of them look meaningful. Or they, or they don't even have title defenses. No. For example, what's going on with the women's tag team championships? Yeah. What happened with the Iconics? All you see them do is on commentary. Why are they not defending the belt? Or, yeah, or like... It would have been so much better if you had Sasha and Bailey keep the titles. They said they were going to go to NXT, they were going to go to Raw, they were going to go to SmackDown. Would have been much better because you would have had the title defended. And you always, like, were looking forward to see those matches because you knew that, like, they would put a good match. But I think you have them holding those belts right now and just have them on commentary because those two can't fucking wrestle. So in this match, like Ryan said... Sure and sweet, Ryan Rowe, Eric Rowan will retain just because they're on SmackDown and because of this wildcard rule, it makes more sense for them to retain Another rather than the Usos that they're on Raw. Another terrible idea by Vince McMahon, but it, that's for another time too. Exactly, and I, I feel like that it. like, how do, how do you feel if you're Brian? Oh, I would feel... You go, in the, if you go from the main event of WrestleMania to be in the pre-show and you hold a championship. So I, if I were Brian, I would feel devastated that I signed with WWE again. Yeah, I mean, when, and you, like, when you could be here in AEW, all elite wrestling, okay, elite. Yep. Okay. For those of you who don't think it's not going, it, like, it's not going to do well. Yeah. For those of you who think it's not going to do well, Tony Khan is running the company. Okay. Okay. Paying for the contracts, everything, owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. He has more money than Vince McMahon, okay? So, this company is going nowhere. Let's let's give it a shot, you know? Oh, I think I, it's I'm, gonna, give, I'm giving it more than a shot. Uh, let's give it a shot, and also, I think, as fans, we will get the best of both worlds, because even WWE will get better, and more people will start tuning in again. Let's so, so, our prediction again, Eric and... Eric Rowan and Brian are gonna retain. The Usos, I mean, yeah, like, if you wanna see, like, the 50th title reign, uh, I, don't really, I don't need to really see the Usos as champions again. So, moving on. Now we're finally on the main show. After two matches. Yes, and we have the United States Championship match between Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe. Um, I will say, like, the, this, this could have been such a much important feud if they wanted to play it out a little more. But now that, like, they introduced Dominic, yes. Rey's son, uh, it, it kind of sounds like they actually like making Dominic like the main figure it almost, in the feud. And it, then Ray kind of like <laughs> took like a second, say, uh, like a supporting role instead of being. Doesn't it remind you of the Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio? Yes. When they were the fighting same, over, over, Dominic, over Dominic. Over Dominic. Yeah. It reminds me of that a lot. That was SummerSlam that 2005. Um, so, yeah, I it reminds me sort of that I don't like the aspect of him being there. Um, this is where, again, Okay, you're fighting over the fucking United States title, okay? The championship literally does not even matter. And that and that's what I was going to tell you. Like, It's like they don't they make the feuds not even based on the championship. Yeah. And the feud should be over right? the championship. That's why the U.S. title, you literally... Okay, let, let's, let's look around here. This piece of plastic is worth more than the United States championship. Right now. Okay. Why? Because like they don't make the feud... With a focus in the title. No, now is no. more Dominic against <laughs> Samoa Joe, no. and Ray's not even in the in That's the match. They don't they don't know how to book storylines. They don't know how to write storylines anymore. No. And it's not that we're talking garbage like about the creative team. I'm just saying like Vince, like he does not have uh, the right way to portray the storyline. No. The create the right way to like make us excited about something. I'm sorry, but he does not, and. Well, it, I'm a big fan of long-term booking, where you can book something very... You don't have to do it, you know, 45 matches like they've been doing, but, you know, a long-term feud, fight over the title, that's what they used to do. It was nice. They don't do that anymore. A few months, you know? Yes. And also, like, every every month, the stipulation will change. It yes. will go from last man standing, it will go from, like, maybe cage... Or like they will go from like uh, false count anywhere, you know. Like you will, they will keep like adding some uh, extra little things, details. So we'll we'll stay excited about. It. Oh, like he he just rolled me up. It didn't count or a fuck finish. But now it's just 
and the part that I, like, I, I don't like is that they don't make it about the title, where it should be about the title. The it title is just like, you know, piece of the piece of metal that you just hold. Well, it hasn't been about championships for a long time. And it should be because you fight for what? Why do we always say, Ryan, when we play the game? Oh, yeah. We fight for gold. Oh, absolutely. We fight for Even gold. when it's the piece of shit ones, like the WCW hardcore title, when we're fighting for Sometimes those are our best matches. But because but we we're fight fighting for the damn for title. Gold. We don't fight because we just like, yeah. we just have, we like feuds and stuff. We fight for gold. But we want to be champions. WWE doesn't have that mindset. We want to be champions. We want to have goal around our waist. So, so, in this case, I'm hoping that Joe wins because I like, like I said before, I like seeing long title reigns. But I have a feeling that Rey Mysterio is going to win this match and then and go on to win the U.S. title. I will, I will say that. I, and you know what? To me, and I don't know if you agree with me. Maybe you don't. But like. Samoa Joe is great. I think he's a, one of the best heels WWE has right now. But like, without the title, he's kind of meaningless. He is. Um, and and you know, with the title, is a little bit more relevant. But imagine him without again. Go back to the back burner. But that's the thing. Like when you have him there, okay, feuding with people over the title. I love the guy. The guy cuts a great promo. Yeah. He's excellent in the ring. But this is the first like championship he's held. Without it, they don't have him do anything. Yeah, he's that's always, what, he's that's always what a I'm jobber. Saying. Without without the title, he's nothing. Yeah. So keep the belt on the guy. Let him bring some prestige to it, instead of taking it off of him, which I think they're going to do, just because they want to go on and do other things with the title instead of just keeping it on somebody. I I, I feel that like yeah, they should keep him on him. Just mainly because I'd rather see titles being held by heels. Because heels do way more I agree. than just faces. Because Ray, you know, okay, he's a, he's a decent promo, but, you know, would you rather see a Samoa Joe's promo that rather than a Rey Mysterio? To me, I would rather see Samoa Joe's. Right. And I think they might prolong it because Dominic now is in the picture, but there's been reports that Rey Mysterio might win the title. We'll see. We'll see. For next me, match. The next match is... I cannot believe this feud is still going on. Okay, we have The Miz taking on Shane McMahon in a steel cage now. Um, I want to get through this quickly and painfully, uh, or painlessly, I should painlessly, say. Painlessly, yeah. Um, Shane McMahon, I think, is going to win this in some kind of, like, fuck finish. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just have some sort of feeling that... Because he's been running around with, what, Lashley and Eli yeah, Elias. And Elias. And I feel that Lashley's going to come out and fuck something so, up. Something. I, yeah. so, somehow, it's going to be a fuck finish, I think, and The Miz will lose. Um, the Miz is a god-awful babyface. I don't know what their obsession is with talk shows they've had. The Miz TV... What is it? Miz TV? Miz TV. I fucking hate Miz TV. They have... KO, KO show. show on all the fucking time. I hate the obsession with talk shows on WWE. It's supposed to be a wrestling show. Yes. It's supposed to be matches. Okay. For those of you who, again, do not know old school WWF, okay, Piper's Pit was not on every fucking week. Piper's Pit was on every three months, okay? That's how it was a great freaking, like, it, little, little talk show. It was only brought. It was only brought back. You know, if needed it, right? Yeah. Okay. Same the, thing with the highlight reel. Right. Jericho's talk show was not on a lot. Okay. Edge had one. The, the, know, the cutting edge. edge. Okay. That was not on every freaking week. Okay. That's how those things remained relevant. At least Truth TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with Truth TV. Bring that back. It's at least more watchable than these two. And you know why? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's funny. Why can our truth keep him impersonating or saying that he loves John Cena? I'm fine with it. That was because fun. at least he can make me laugh. That was these fun. two fucking god awful. For me, fuck finish. Shane McMahon wins. Uh, Shane McMahon, I think, is gonna win also because just the Miss cannot be a baby face. No, the Miss. His best work is when he's heel. I miss his best I, I already, promo. Yeah, heel. I already miss heel. The best version of the Miss is when he is always 
winning by any fuck finish. Right. When he gets all those nasty promos. His promo work best as heel. Is I, heel. I hate him as Because with face, you know, we're all like, he's cringing. We don't really need it. Uh, it it's just like the Miz can only portray the, the heel. Oh, yeah. He's not a good face. And there's only people, there's certain people who that can, can only do, both. do that. Yes. There's only people who can do both, and Miz is certainly not one of them. Exactly. No. So I think Shane McMahon uh, largely comes out done. Next match, I don't even want to talk about this guy. Okay. This one we're gonna do it very fast. No, there's not gonna be any okay. talking. Roman Reigns wins, done. Yeah. Elias, you know how it's gonna go. Spear, done. I fucking hate Reigns. Yep. So next one. Women's money in the bank ladder match. Okay. We have Nikki Cross, Naomi, Natalia, Dana Brooke, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Ember Moon, and Carmella. Okay. First of all, you all remember Alexa Bliss was in this match. Yes. Okay? She was removed for medical purposes. Okay? For those of you who did watch Monday Night Raw, okay, a moment of piss was on, okay, her talk show. Another talk show. Mm, yeah. Okay? You notice that they had the camera on her rack a lot. Okay? That's why she's not in this match. She recently had a tit job. Okay? Or a boob job for the ones that don't know. Okay? And her cans are not medically cleared to wrestle. That's right. So don't think about concussions or anything. She's okay, okay, up here. It's here where she's And now she's, she's not... even better now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now these are now enhanced. Now she's even better. But these are too swollen to wrestle. Yes. But we want to say uh, a little time out. She was so sweet while we met her. Yes, she was. I have to say she was very nice. She was very nice. She got me pissed off about what she said about... Sasha Banks and everything. Sasha, if you ever watch this, I love you. Thank you for liking my tweet. Stay away from WWE. Go to AEW. I want to say, Alexa, you were awesome. We love you. You were very nice. You can't wrestle for shit. Uh, uh, he said that. <laughs> he said, I said, th thank you for uh, splitting up from Buddy Murphy. Thank you. That's true. Thanks for giving us hope. I agree. Thank you, I, I'll agree with that. Thank you, Alexa. You gave us hope. A anyway, back, back to the match. Um... To me, if you do not put this on either Nikki Cross, Bailey, or Ember Moon, you're fucking up big time. Yeah. Unless I heard a story that they say that Sasha might I heard be, that like, if they do I I hope not. If Sasha Banks comes out and like I heard she's gonna knock out like like the like a Dana Brooke yes. and enter the match. Yeah. No. Please do not do that, Sasha. Stay away from the toxic environment that is WWE. Stay out and just go to AEW. Is it bad if I want to say that like Scarlett Bordeaux might just break the internet and then she comes out? So that would be good. I love Scarlett. I love you, Scarlett. <laughs> yeah, you're the new queen. So I want to see you in WWE. Oh, see, I just heard news. Uh, she requested her release from Impact. Well, so that might be. Hey, that might be. And I, you heard it here on Robrick. So. You did. But for me, like Ryan said, I think either Nikki Cross should be the one push. I would be fine with uh, that. Amber Moon, those are like really good options, or Bailey. But we really doubt that Bailey will be the one getting the briefcase, just because and mainly because she is associated with Sasha Banks. So, but this so thing, she will have to pay for the oh she will. for Sasha's no uh, doubt misconduct if you want to call it that. No doubt. And to me, this whole thing, the briefcase is made. It's like the Royal Rumble. Yes. Okay. You're supposed to give it to people to make them a superstar. WWE has not been doing that in recent years. Okay. Last year, totally did not do that. Nope. Gave it to Alexa Bliss. Okay. Sorry. She was already a superstar. She didn't need it. Gave it to Braun Strowman. Already a made man. Okay. He didn't need it. And he didn't do anything with it. Sorry. But, you know. He didn't do anything Totally with pissed. It. That guy, I don't even want on my fucking TV anymore. I, I, they have totally made me hate. hate Braun Strowman. I don't want to see that guy on TV anymore. I want that guy to quit his job and go work at Lowe's. Hmm. Okay. He'll be good at it because he can live a lot. But to yeah. me, those are my choices. I will say, yeah, they, they are those just mainly because, like you said, the money in the bank is supposed to be a cho uh, an option for a superstar to break through. Like Edge, when he first cashed in, he, was, he was already well known as a tag. But that's why he was. Oh, he was always 
a mid card guy. Yes. He never broke through to the top, and when he won and when that, he won the WWE that's right when, away. Yes. Main event status. Exactly. He went from being mid card to main event status. That's what it's supposed to do. For that's people. what it's supposed to do. Did it for Punk. Did it for Punk. You know? Did it for Swagger. Yes. Did it for Swagger. Did it for Brian. You know, and I like that, but they don't do that now anymore. It's the same way with the Royal Rumble. You they know, just give people, it to the same people all the time. They yeah. have their three or four that like people just... win the Royal Rumble. They're already being met. Okay, Seth Rollins Royal Rumble. Why? Okay, the guy's already been champion. You did not need to do that. Give it to somebody who is not a made man. Somebody who is, you know, breaking not, through, breaking like, through. Like, like an Almas. Yes, needs like to a break McIntyre, through that ceiling. Like yeah, but, or when they did it with Nakamura, then you have him lose. Yeah, again, you know. And we've talked about this already. So. Ruined it. Yeah, ruin it. Back so, to back to the the card, men's money in the bank ladder match. We have Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Finn Balor, Ali, which is not Ali, it's, it's Mustafa, Mustafa Ali, Ali, Andrade, Cien Almas. Okay, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton. Now, okay, let's me, let's just look at the names here. Let's right dissect okay? for a little bit. Ricochet certainly deserves this. I don't see them. At, I don't see them putting this on him at all. Drew, Drew McIntyre, okay, they have absolutely ruined his character. But he was okay until he went against the big dog. Yeah, that's when everything fucked up. Yep, he was getting momentum, but no. Baron Corbin, another guy. Look at it. Put the money in the bank on him. What happened? He cashed in and lost. And I'm sorry, but you're gonna give it to a guy that wears a suit to so, the ring to me no no you stay away from money money in the bank doesn't go to baron corbin he's been getting like huge pushes recently i don't know why finn balor the guy i love the guy but you need to leave and go back to being prince Devitt. okay you go back to new japan and join the bullet club or go back here and and reform the bullet reform club. the bullet club with these guys yeah uh mustafa ali i would love to see the guy, this this is what it's built for. Guys like Ali, Mustafa Ali would be a great candidate for this. I would rather see it on Andrade Cien Almas. Cien Almas would be the perfect man because heels are the ones who normally carry the briefcase. Yeah. Edge is the first. The you, you need to look at Edge as the guy who is the perfect mold and go back and watch his cash-ins. Yeah. Perfect. Both of them were absolutely perfect. Both of them. And, you know, he, he made it the extraordinary cash. And, and for me, Cian Almas is going to be the perfect candidate because he's a heel. And he can run in and cash in and do a heel cash in when somebody's down, out of nowhere, and cash in it. Okay? Fuck Randy Orton. He's too fucking old. And he's been champion before. Oh he's my won God. money he, in the bank. He's so fucking... How many times now? 13? 13 times, Just yes. like, Just like... Freaking Levesque. Yeah. Or he, what is he, 14? No, 14, 14 is for Levesque, yeah. Fuck him. And yeah, Randy Orton, you don't need Randy Orton. You know? No. They just they just put Randy Orton in it just for, to get a big name I'm in sorry. It. I've but never, never been a fan of Orton. Like you, no, we, we like, hey. Legend, legend killer Orton, I'm okay with Nothing you can that. say. Nothing's gonna change. Okay, never mind. Going back, Andrade Cien Almas is the right candidate. And it's not because he's Hispanic like me. For all of you people out there. It's not because he's dating Charlotte either. All right, hear my words. It's because he's a heel. He has, he could have one of the greatest characters in this era right now with Selena Vega. No doubt. And he's an excellent wrestler. And he's wrestler. an excellent wrestler. So for me, he's learning more English now, thanks to Charlotte. But for me. I don't know where. <laughs> it doesn't even matter about the English. For me, he needs Selena Vega. As to, the talker. As the talker. I want to see her. I want him to talk Spanish and just have Zelina Vega translate it. That's what I want to see. I love it. She would. She did it down in NXT. It was perfect. But Vince McMahon is the one who fucks up all these characters when they come to the main roster. Yes. Yes. Have him win. The other guy was Sami Zayn. I love Sami Zayn. He's a great wrestler. Okay. But win with the blue thunder bomb instead of the fucking hula kick. Okay. You hit three fucking blue thunder bombs and can't win a goddamn match. Okay, win with the fucking blue thunder bomb, and I'll start to take you more credible. 
I will say Sami Zayn will be another great candidate. I, I agree. Because his character is spot on. He's actually 90% of the stuff that he's saying is the truth. We'll see. People are laughing about it, but no, they know no. it's true. What, what he's saying right now is coming directly from Vince from McMahon. From Vince, yeah. Vince everything you hear from Sami Zayn is shit that Vince McMahon thinks about us, the fans. Okay? So think about that. All the shit he's saying about the fans, okay, that he hates the fans, the fans fucking blow, <laughs> that's all true, okay, from Vince McMahon. He fucking hates the fans. He fucking hates you, okay? <laughs> so, okay, for those dummies out there who aren't really realizing that, Vince McMahon's cutting these promos and putting them putting through Sami Zayn. Okay, it, Sami Zayn is the actual mouthpiece of Vince, of Vince McMahon. Think about that, okay? You don't think it, but it's fucking true, okay? So I will, I will, I will be okay if Sami Zayn wins. I would be fine with that. Because I need El Generico. <laughs> oh, I would be fine with that. Because he's never held a championship. He's a good wrestler. He's a fantastic but wrestler. I'm sorry, but why? Three from Blue Thunder Bombs and still not done. But to me, if you ask me, I will go against Cien Almas. Mainly because he has a strong character. And he's the kind of guy that can make the money in the bank briefcase even relevant. I would say Because so. because of the stuff that happened last year with Strowman, not being able to even... Oh, that was that you know that made to me that was a still the money in the bank is a joke again roman agenda they do it for, for roman. roman they do and that was such a joke with and Hell in now Cell. even dean is out so they're gonna still do it for him john moxley please show up in aew they say either he had aew or impact at least he's out of wwe after ten thousand shields farewells well, thank you back to the card we have Becky Lynch versus fucking Charlotte again. I don't want to see this match again. Too overdone. I don't fucking care about it, okay? I feel bad for Becky Lynch because they're over-promoting her. She's on every fucking show. She's lost all her momentum because of the fucking WWE. Why overexposure? Overexposure. Why you have to be in both shows saying the same thing all over again? Why have you not... Put both of those belts together, okay? Why is it not one belt? Why is it Becky two belts? I don't need two belts, okay? You take both those belts, okay? You combine them. You have one fucking title. They unite. You, you yeah, unify, you, yeah. You, you fucking unify the titles. One belt. That's all you need because the women's division is absolute garbage, okay? I'm not saying anything about the women. The women are fantastic. Again, this goes back to Vince McMahon and not knowing how to book anything correctly. Anymore. Anymore. So, to me, I think Becky's probably going to lose both belts. Maybe she retains the Raw Championship. And I'm only saying that because she's dating. Right now, they have this procedure where they want the couples, the couples to, to be together. Yes, the couples to be together. She is dating, dating Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins right now. So, maybe she keeps... The, the, Raw. the Raw Championship, so, she beats, what is it, Lacey Evans? Lacey Evans, Evans yes. She'll, she'll beat Lacey Evans. She shouldn't even fucking have a title match. Um, you know what, she does, first of all, she's trash. Her fucking finisher is the women's right, which is fucking god awful. What is she, Big Show? Yeah, the you KO know, punch. Bullshit move. The KO punch. Bullshit move. Uh, so, maybe, I, I, I would like to see her at least retain one title. Um, she certainly doesn't need both. Um, I'd like to see her retain both. Um, first of all, I don't want to see Charlotte anywhere near a championship match. Um, why does why does every pay per view need to have Charlotte? Charlotte Flair, Flair. That's why. Where's the? I have an autograph of of Ric Flair right here. Why is he always in the title match? It's only because of this man right there. That's the reason she's in every goddamn pay per view. Woo! There you go. That is the only reason. So, for me, I think Charlotte will probably win the SmackDown, and I'm thinking Becky's going to And it's a way to, to, give, to give Becky the break, that yes. she doesn't have to be in both shows. Yes. That way she can stay on Raw with Rollins. So. To me, the main problem with Lacey Evans is, like, she wasn't for <coughs> build-up as much as, she, like, as a believable contender. No. 
And you know what? You win one match against Natalia, and all of a sudden you're number one content. But that's what they've been doing lately yes, with everything. Because it should have been to me, according to work, based on like who's like more talented, at least give it to Ruby Riot. But you've always said, what's happened with number one contenders match? I, I keep saying that. that. That wasn't a number one contenders match. They fucking fought, and all of a sudden, she's like, yeah. fighting for the title. Yes. They didn't say it was a number one contender. In match. the past, remember that. Yeah. They always had, in within the pay-per-view, you had the number one contender. For me, you match. don't have to have title matches every single pay-per-view. Okay? Have a number one contender. Have a number one contender's match, and then the next pay-per-view, because this, this pay-per-view is trash. Money in the Bank is trash. What should be featured for the women is... The Money in the Bank briefcase match. Yep. That should be the featured match for the women. Not a championship match. And then the next pay-per-view, you can have Becky Lynch be facing with all the championships. And it also like gives you time to keep building in the rivalry. Yes. And that way you can... But WWE doesn't think The audience way. will be more attractive to that. Yes, they will be more invested in it. And especially if you don't see title matches every single month, you will tune in for the title match. But they don't think that way. Because they're fucking idiots. AEW thinks that way. So I'll keep I, I'll keep drilling that into your heads. And and then once again, we don't work for AEW. We're just promoting something better. Or promoting change. That's all we're doing. Next match. Another I don't know. I Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. You guys and I'm not pointing out you guys. I'm simply saying the WWE fans. I'm not going to call them a fucking universe. Mm -hmm. But the WWE fans wanted Kofi Kingston so badly to have a championship. Look at him now. Okay? The man is still throwing out fucking pancakes into the audience. And his momentum went from here all the way down to here. Okay? He is trash now. The guy can wrestle. I'm not going to say he can't wrestle. But the dude has no momentum anymore, and I want Kevin Owens to beat the holy shit out of him. The problem with Kofi Kingston is just because his character is too like childish. It is. So it's you far don't childish. believe him as the champion, as the man. I posted so you. I don't know if people look at it or not. I hope you guys do look at the posts because I post legit shit. Okay. Superstar Billy Graham said something absolutely ridiculous about Kofi Kingston, which Kofi I hate. To, uh, that he needs up. to, yeah, he needs to take steroids and shit. Yeah. Bullshit. Superstar Billy Graham can go fuck off. Mm -hmm. The guy is an absolute jackass. But Jim Ross, I absolutely agree with what he said about Behaving Kofi Kingston. Behaving more of a champion, yes. right? Okay. Kofi Kingston is making the WWE Championship look like a piece of garbage. Okay. The way he comes out, the way he's throwing pancakes into the audience. Okay, that title, okay, was the inaugural championship for the WWWF, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, when it debuted in 1963. Okay, Buddy Rogers. Okay? Many, you many need... people wouldn't even know who no. Buddy Rogers is. No, you're not, I, you have to be a fucking diehard fan to know who that is. Okay? Buddy Rogers. That was going to that, that was that was going to be the that the yeah, original the, nature the, boy. Yes, the original nature boy. You have to be a diehard fan to know that. The guy didn't even hold the title that long because he had an injury. Went to Bruno San Martino then who went on to hold it for 7 years. Okay? That title is supposed to be historic, is supposed to be a glorious thing. To hold. They even say it's like the biggest prize in sports entertainment. It's supposed to be. <laughs> they say but it's not. Anymore. Okay? It it's used not. to be. It's absolute trash. It Yet again, okay, you look at some of the shit I have here. Um, This Coke, okay, more, okay, worth more than what Kofi Kingston has around his fucking waist. Okay? Because of what he has done with the title. And, I'm sorry. And, and again, it's not, I don't want to say, we, we're not just blaming Kofi. I'm not blaming Kofi. I'm blaming it's, the WWE. Don't think I'm blaming Kingston. Please don't. Okay? Because he's a good wrestler. He is. And he, is. He, he, pretty, he deserved the, we, we agree that he, he deserved to be the champion. How he's portrayed after he wins the championship is what is like ridiculous. That's my thing. Yeah. Okay? And that's why Kevin Owens, I feel that as a heel, has a much better chance to make the title more relevant. 
I I think so. Because if there's something that uh, like Kevin Owens knows how to do, is actually being a great heel. I agree. And we met him, and he was a he was a really cool guy. Legit. Cool Absolutely guy. legit. Very nice. Remember, why did I ask? Well, what's going on with you? Are you gonna do something? We want to see you champion again. He's yeah. like, oh, hopefully. That's what he said. Quote. Hopefully, I so. miss I I miss do great things. Yes. There you go. So the own wrestlers know. They know. But of course they get a paycheck, so of course you're gonna do what they tell you. And any of you guys who think that this is not a legit company, this AEW, why are all these people asking for their releases? Even Jericho said uh, in one of his uh, radio appearances or something, he's like, they should be thankful to me because if I signed with AEW, their contracts went skyrocket. Yeah. That's what he said. It's no, like, no doubt, dude. Don't, it's like, don't no be, doubt. don't be, don't be like thinking, oh yeah, they want me and they want, they want to offer me all this money. He said, thank Jericho. Because now you make way more money than you would ever dream of being just, you know, a jobber. Well, they know they have another place to go. And All that, these superstars know that. They're asking for their releases. WWE are bullshit. They're not granting their releases because they don't want any superstar to go over there. They have legit competition and yeah, now. And like I said, Kofi Kingston is a great wrestler, but... I feel that, like, still, if you're coming out to the New Day's music and everything, and Xavier, nah. like, uh, I mean, as a champion, you gotta grow, evolve. And especially evolve. when Big E got hurt, that should have been the ticket right there where you... To do something different. Yes. Big, Big Xavier is me on, is, I'm the champion. I'm on my I'm own. I'm on my own. And then you go back to SOS. And maybe not, or be, be more just a serious character. Yes. And because you hold the WWE Championship. So. It's not the IC title, it's not the US title, no. it's the WWE Championship. For me, I'm hoping Kevin Owens wins this match because I want to see something different and I want to see the title at least a little bit. I know it's not going to be prestigious because, it, I'm sorry, ever since Jinder Mahal held that fucking belt, it's not going to be prestigious ever again. But I want to see it on somebody who's actually legitimate. And to me, Kevin Owens is legitimate. Yes. So... We hope, we, we don't know what's going to happen on that one. My prediction, Ryan goes with Kevin Owens, I will say, Kingston might retain it. Okay, maybe they might do the title switch in Jeddah, June 7th. That's there true. you go, WWE, we'll give you a plug for the Super Showdown. So, Whoosh it card. And man. then we finish with the main event. Yes. Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins against AJ Styles for the Universal Championship. For me, I know they're doing this. To compete against? Yep. Double or nothing. Anybody who thinks differently, I'm sorry, but you're in denial. Yep. Okay. This is a huge match that should be taking place at WrestleMania. Yep. Not at a fucking Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Okay. These two are two of the best on the fucking roster. And in the world. I will. I, will I would that. absolutely agree. I will, I will say that. I would absolutely agree. I will say that. But to me... These two will probably tear the house down. They're actually, because it's on Raw and they, it's for the Universal title, they'll actually let these two go at it and try and tear the house down. Um, I have liked some of the things that they've been doing. Um, it hasn't been superb build-up, but it's been decent, and I want to see what these two can do in the ring. So, I, I want to see it. Yeah, to me, I agree with you completely. The build-up hasn't been great. No. I still, I'm not really excited. Although they, they haven't portrayed it as the match, like the marquee match that you need to watch. Although, for me, it's like a WrestleMania main event match. Um, I think AJ needs to be a little stronger as a heel. He hasn't been to me because I think AJ is the heel. And Rollins is the face, according to what... I, again... Or, I, or is this two faces? I think it's two faces. Going at each other. Right now, to me, it's two faces. I don't see... I've seen AJ as heel. heel in WWE, and I don't, I don't think he's heel right now. At least I, I don't think so. In my opinion, I've seen him as a heel in WWE, and he's not heel right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think that um, it's going to be a great match. I feel that Seth Rollins is going to still uh, be champion. He will retain. Yes, he will. Because we know already that the match that is supposed to take care supposed to happen in Jeddah is going to be the rematch against Brock Lesnar 
and for they, anybody who doesn't know, Jeddah is Saudi Arabia, blood money that they're taking yes. in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So the matches that are being advertised is the rematch. It's Seth Rollins against Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. So there you go. There's a little spoiler right there that you know that Seth Rollins is gonna retain. Yes. Probably the feud after that will focus, will go against Lesnar, and then maybe we'll go back to Styles. Yes. And you can tell that that's the main reason that they're doing this match, just because to compete against Double or Nothing. Yes. So we feel that it might be the match of the night, or I'm thinking either like the men's money in the bank. I'm there's, looking. There's enough talent to pull that off. Yes. I'm looking forward to both of those. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, I think that's the that's it for this review. Hope yep. you guys like it. Yes, I we hope wanna, you enjoy it. We want to dedicate this episode to Ashley Masara. Yes, I feel bad for her, it's, but again, from what I've read, it looks like a suicide, and a lot of it is to blame on WWE. Is is a lot of um, injuries, things of, that like they didn't take care of on time. Yes, a lot of concussions where they just gave her painkillers and said, "Hey, shake it off." So. Well, Again, we, um, we want to dedicate that to her family, friends. Um, yes, we we were we were fans we, when we, he, when she was around. We definitely were. And we, so we were definitely watching. Saw her win the superstar, the the divas, the diva search, search diva search. The diva search was taking place. And we saw her win that. We, we just saw feel, WrestleMania you know, twenty three again. Yeah, teaming up with Maria. So and uh, going against uh, Melina. So yeah, for the, the for the women's championship, and Snoop, Snoop Dogg was there. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. So, God bless her, her family, everything. She has a daughter and everything. We're praying for you. We're yeah, uh, you know, every wrestling is our lives. So anytime that one of these situations happen, it's we true. feel really, really sad, especially with the circumstances that this situation Absolutely. took place. So we want to dedicate this to any of her fans, and we'll be back soon. Yes. Ah,